Drugs are killing my city. Let's be real. Um, Molly, Lean, Xanax, uh, Oxycodone, Perks, all of those things right there. Opioids, 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 opioids. Um, they're just a weaker version of crack cocaine itself, heroin, um, fentanyl, and all of the other crap that's going on. Heroin. Um, over time, those type of things take a toll on your body. Over 46 people in the city of Cleveland died in 2017 using heroin or fentanyl. You never know what those things are mixed with. Um, you never know that your bag of molly is not pure fucking cocaine. You don't know. Um, I don't care how much you've been using or whatever the case may be. You don't know. By June 1st of 2017, that number had doubled, making at least 80 overdoses of these substances. I'm speaking of heroin and fentanyl. Um, over 248 overdoses were reported in Cleveland, Ohio alone. And over 179 of those were fatal deaths. We can't keep losing our people to what these rappers are rapping about. Like, let's be real. They're not fucking doing all of this. Like, and if they are... They either A, wake the fuck up and C, it's going to kill me or B, they die from it. So it's like, how much longer do we have to go? Like, before the city realizes that's just shit. It's just not where it's at. Like, it's just not where it's at. We're teaching our kids, like, or teaching my kids. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. So by the time they're 15, you're telling me they're going to be using drugs? Like, that does not work for me. Um, jumping straight into things, today's video is going to be a little bit more on a serious note. Uh, it's just going to be this, I'm just going to be discussing a, a topic that hits home with me. Um, within the last six months, I've had to live in a home with a heroin addict. It has not been easy, um, and I don't judge. Let me say that straight off the back. I don't judge. I just have come to learn that. It's really a mental illness. This is something that addicts really fight with. Um, from the outside looking in, I've always had this, like, you know, crackheads are crackheads because they're crackheads. Heroin addicts are heroin addicts because they're heroin addicts. They use because they want to use. And which that is partially true, but just as anxiety, depression, or any other mental illness has its things. So does that. Like, that's, that's something that can be described as a mental illness. Like, it's really a mind over matter type thing. Um, and my reason for actually doing this video um, is because I was hoping that maybe I can help someone else who's fighting with these addictions or um, who's thought about using or, like, I know... The whole drug epidemic is big within our youth nowadays. Like, everybody wants to do Molly. Everybody wants to sip lean, which is nothing but fucking liquid cocaine. Um, it's like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And if someone can hear the audio that I have here or watch this video and it makes a difference, like, um, I'm okay with that. Um... So, jumping straight into things, this is just the audio of an interview that I've conducted with a professional drug user for over 40 years, um, just talking about the effect that he had, that heroin has had on him and his relationships within life, um, and I just hope someone can get something from it. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and leave, leave comments in the section below. All right, the first question, um, exactly what drugs do you use? Heroin. Um, are you high right now? Yes. And how long have you been a user? Of what, heroin or user pig? A user pig? Heroin. Okay. But I've been a user of drugs since I've been 13 years old. Okay. Use of drugs and heroin since I've been 21. 21, okay. 18 was the first time I tried it, though. Okay, and that's what the next question was. How did you start using? Just, just, just trying it, you know, just trying it. Spearman, man. Spirit, man. Okay. Um, Somebody had it. I didn't have nothing. I tried it. I did it and I liked it. Okay. Um, how does it affect your body, mind, or you as a whole? Like Now? Period. I, how it affects me now is, is where it is my wife. It is my everything. My whole life uh, seeks around my next fix. Okay. 
um, and what effect does that have on your outside relationships? Well, my family, my my health, friends, I mean, just everything. It just makes you not be the person you really know that you you are. And how many times have you made an attempt to get clean? Oh, over 30. Over 30? Over have, 30. I've been in rehab longest? over 30 times. What was the longest that you stayed clean? Uh, two years. Okay. And could you tell me about your worst experience? My worst experience? Mm-hmm. Shit, yeah, overdosing and hallucinating, seeing things that ain't there. Okay. And the last question is, this time going into the hospital, um, what are, like, what, what, what influenced that this time? Like, what, and this time, like, what made it, like, okay, I, this time I want to get clean? Like, well, what, 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 what happened was, I had 10 months of good sobriety, good sobriety. And then what happened was, I got into a lot of pain. And I don't lie to my doctor, so my doctor is not going to give me no opiates for the pain. So I turned back to what I knew. I was in so much pain. I turned back to what I knew that was going to relieve the pain, which was heroin. As long as I'm doing heroin, I'm not in the pain. Even though I know that I got to get that pain taken care of, I might wind up going back doing the same thing. But I got to get the heroin off me first. That would have had me go back was the pain that I was in. And knowing doctors is not going to give me open because my doctor know I'm at it. So the pain was so excruciating. So the only thing I the only thing I knew to turn back was what I knew. I know heroin going to relieve all the pain for me. So that's why I went back. Okay. And just to add on, I'm done with the questions, but mm-hmm. just to add on, at the point that you are in in your life right now, if there was something that you could tell another user or someone who's thought about using or anything of that nature to possibly save them or change their thoughts, yeah, what I'll would it be? Per- I'll tell a person that ain't never used, don't try. I'll tell a person that's used to never give up. Never give up. Long as there's breath in your body. Or how bad you think it is now, dude, get off of it. And once you get a little taste of sobriety, you're going to always want that. You're going to always be chasing that sobriety. Even though that sickness is fucking with you, you're always chasing that sobriety because you know it's a better life out there. I don't give a fuck if it takes you like it's taking me over 40 years to try to get it. You never give up. If you relapse and you're still living, try it again. I don't care if you have to do like me and try over 30 times. Keep trying. That's all I can tell somebody is keep trying. Never give up. Because as long as there's breath in your body, you might get it this time. Who's to say this don't be the time you get it? Who's to say this ain't going to be my time I get it and don't go back? Can't nobody say that. Even though it's my choice whether it happened or not. But each time I go to rehab, I always think this is going to be it. I ain't going to do it again. I ain't going to do it again. Now, if it happened, if I relapse again, I guarantee you this is his breath in my body, I'll go back in that motherfucker again. Yeah, and I might about? beat my head up in two, three months, which I hate. Mm-hmm. You know, this ain't no way to live, man. I don't wish to. I told this man right here over 30 years ago, I said, whatever you do, Red, don't never fuck with no hair. And I said, because if you're going to ride the white horse, you better ride it well. Because if you don't, it's going to ride you straight to hell. He never tried it. He don't know nothing about being... He know about high addiction, but he don't know about heroin dope shit. I know about the cocaine addiction. That's what I said. You know about yeah, addiction, yeah, and addiction, addiction is addiction. addiction yeah. But the worst, two worst addiction it is, is an alcoholic. He just, he, he's the only thing worse than the heroin. An alcoholic, yeah. whether people know it or not. They get the DTs and shake, and once he get that drink, he cool. He just like that heroin. Yeah, that this dope shit going up when he get that bag, he cool. Yeah. Um, and since you're here and you said something about addiction, and you don't have to chime in if you don't want to, but you, um, how long okay. have you been over this addiction, or how did you overcome Me? this addiction? I mean, yeah. you've been clean right now for cocaine. I've been clean now for about nine years. Nine. And what helped, yeah. what's something that inspired or helped you I just got that? tired. I just got tired of living the way I was living, throwing all my money away. You know, they started back over, hurt my family. And I just say, you know, I prayed to God, and he delivered me. You know, I just kept giving it to him. Man, you just long you it took me years and years and years to stop. Now, I just didn't say I'm going to stop and I'll stop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, I did it for many years. But you got nine years of under your belt yeah. with, 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 with cocaine free? Right, cocaine free. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.
Yeah, okay. And then, yeah. is there anything you like to add well, before I stop recording? No, I'm good. Yeah. All right. The first question. Um, exactly what drugs do you use? Heroin. Um, are you high right now? Yes. 